this video, I'm going to show you how to make overhead UI like this in Roblox Studio. So this overhead UI will display the leader stats that you have in your game. Make sure you like and subscribe, join my Roblox group and my Discord with the links in the description. I also have a link to the model to this in the description as well. So if you don't feel like coding or anything, uh, you can go ahead and uh, get that. All right, so in your Roblox game, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Avatar and we just want to build a rig here. So I'm just going to block Avatar. So this is how you can uh, see how the overhead will look on a player. So in here, we'll just find the head and then we'll put a, um, a billboard GUI on their head like that. We can rename this to overhead. And then here, uh, set light influence to zero. The size for me is going to be six comma zero comma 1.5 comma zero the offset studs offset on the y is going to be 2.5 for me and i think that's it for that and then in here i want to put a frame i'm going to name this money you can name it whatever you want for the size of this frame i'm going to go 0 0.5 0 comma 1 comma 0 like that so it'll take up half of the billboard i'm going to set the background transparency to one and then i'm going to go ahead and put a image label which i'm going to call icon and then I'm going to put a text label, which I'm going to call mount. So AMT for short. So the icon, I'm going to change the scale type to fit. I'm going to change the size to 0 0.34, 0, 0, 1, 0, which you can also change this however you want. I'm going to make the background transparency set to one. And then I'm going to get a icon for this. I already have an icon. You could just look up in the toolbox if you need one or, um, you know, find one online or something. For the amount text, I'm going to set the size. Yeah, 0 0.66, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. I'm going to set the position to 0 0.34, like that. And it's going to be right next to the icon right there. Set the background transparency to 1. I'm going to change the font to be Fredoka 1. And then I'm going to go change the text color to be white, text scaled. And then add a little bit of a stroke to it. That should be good for that. We're going to go ahead and duplicate this and change the position of this frame on the X to be 0.5 like that. And then we can rename this frame to gems or whatever currency you want. We can go ahead and change the icon to the other icon that I have or that you have. And that's about it for that one. So now we can go ahead and go into the... The first thing we want to do with this is we're going to take this overhead, duplicate it, and then put it into the replicate storage. And then in the service script service, we can create a script. I'm going to call this one um, leader stats. So in this, I'm just going to make an example of leader stats. Uh, you don't have to follow this. If you already have one, then use it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just go game.players.player added connect function player. I'm going to go local leader stats equals instance.new folder. And we'll parent this to the player. We'll go leader stats.name is going to equal leader stats exactly like that local money is going to equal instance dot oh that's not right instance dot new number value parent this to the leader stats folder we'll go money dot name equals money we'll go and then we'll get a gems uh number value so it's a new number value leader stats gems.name is going to equal gems and then down here i'm going to go task.spawn function here we're going to go while task.wait 0.5 money.value plus equals one gems.value plus equals one so this script is just meant to uh, show the overhead ui actually working so that's all this is uh, you don't have to copy this but I'm going to go ahead and create another script in the server script service. I'm going to call this one overhead. All right. Now in here, we're going to get the re replicate storage like this game, get service, replicate storage. Then we're going to get the overhead template. So overhead template, you know, replicate storage dot overhead. Then we're going to get the players game dot players. And then I'm going to go players dot player added connect function player, which you could do this all in the leader stat script, but I'm keeping it separated so that you know, you can just put the overhead in your game and you won't have to worry about that. So in here, we're going to go to local overhead. And then we're going to say player dot character added. Connect function character. We're going to say overhead equals overhead template. Pull and clone. And then we're going to go down here and say overhead dot parent equals character. 
wait for child head and then we're gonna go down here say player wait for child leader stats so we're basically just waiting for the leader stats to actually load and be put onto the player and then we can go player dot leader stats dot money or whatever your leader stat is changed dot change connect function where it takes in the value we'll say overhead dot money dot amount dot text equals value and then we go player dot leader stats dot gems dot changed connect function value and then we'll say overhead dot gems dot amount dot text equals value and also if you want this to be compacted like abbreviated and stuff there is a there's a resource called a uh, format number on roblox if you look it up on the dev forums you'll probably find it i'm not going to go over it right now because you have to like import it and all that stuff but it's not too complicated to figure out if you do want to have abbreviated numbers you could probably figure it out if just by like watching a tutorial a tutorial or something so just letting you guys know all right so if we go in and test this uh we did get a few errors but as you can see i did not mess with the functionality at all um that's just from it trying to update the the numbers too early but it does work as you can see but if you don't want the player to be able to see their own overhead stats what you can do is in the starter character scripts we can go ahead and put a script into here and this is literally just going to be one line it's super simple also i'm going to rename this script to disable local overhead so it's going to disable our own overhead we'll go to game dot players dot local player dot character wait for child head and we'll do wait for child overhead make sure it's spelled the exact same as it is in the replicated storage and then we'll go colon destroy and now in here you'll see that um it does not show on my character but if we go into the home tab and then go to the server you'll see that it is on my head for everybody else and if you don't want this if you still want the player to see their own uh stats you could just not make this script and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video if you found it helpful make sure you hit the like button let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see and i will see you guys in the next video